Hi there, this is Elon from MetroBoard, and today I'm going to show you the basic functionality of the mini RC remote from MetroBoard. So, first I'm going to show you how to set things up. So, the first thing you got to do is install batteries. It has two AA batteries which go in this compartment here. So, let's go ahead and remove. There's a little screw here. You need a small Phillips head screwdriver, and there's a little small screw here at the bottom that you need to remove to install the batteries. So, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so once we get that loose, just remove the battery cover and you'll see there's two slots for two regular AA batteries. So let's go ahead and install those. Just the usual convention. And another one here. Okay, you got those nicely seated. Go ahead and put the battery cover back on and screw the screw all the way in. Good news, the batteries last a really long time. They can last between 50 to 100 hours of use. So you won't need to do this too often, but that's the procedure. Okay, now we go ahead and turn the remote on. You can see there's a little slide switch right there. So we just go ahead and slide that. And you can see the red light comes on when the remote's on. And we should be good to go. So, basic functionality. First, we're gonna turn the skateboard on. It's pretty easy to use. All you need to do is pull the trigger in to accelerate. And if you pull it in and you push it out while you're moving, you'll apply the brakes. As such. And you can say I'm pushing the trigger out and it applies the brakes, which you can't see, but of course you'd feel while you're riding. However, if you are riding and you come to a stop and you let go of the trigger in neutral and go out again, it'll go in reverse. However, the speed in reverse, as you notice, is limited to about three miles an hour. So it'll only go slowly in reverse. So that's the basic speed control. So the other functionality that you need to know about are the functions of the steering wheel. So this little wheel here has a few functions. If you turn it to the left, it makes the bell beeps, which is just to let people know you're passing by, just like on a bike. Uh, the other functionality is if you turn the steering wheel to the right, and that does the battery gauge check. So what it's checking is uh, how much battery is left in the skateboard. It'll be between one and four times. One would be your batteries like a quarter or less, and four would mean you have three quarters or more battery left, and three and two, et cetera, would be in between those two. Uh, so that's handy, of course, when you want to check the battery gauge. While riding, you don't need to take your eyes off the road, just listen to the number of beeps. The other functionality now with this remote is changing the skill levels. Now we have nine acceleration skill levels and four braking skill levels. So the way you change those is you basically hold the steering wheel to the left, like this, and as it's beeping, pull the trigger in. Basically what you need to do is you need to listen to the number of beeps that it makes as you, after you pull the trigger in. So it's going to be between one and nine beeps, and it goes down one level every time you do it. So if you're on level five, it'll go down to level four, and if you're on level four, it'll go down to level three, etc. And, and when it gets to one, it flips back over to level nine. Okay? So you want to let go before you get to the to the number of beats for the skill level you want to be on, otherwise it'll flip to the next level. Um, a few other notes. Uh, in between every skill level, you'll see that the lights go off for like a split second. You have about a half second, so I'm going to show you this. So if I go like this, hold in, let it go very quickly, you can see the lights go off. This puts the skateboard in inconspicuous mode, and this mode, it disables the lights of the skateboard. And it also disables the turn on beeps, so the battery gauge beeps that you hear when the skateboard turns on will be disabled. This is handy if you don't want people to know you're riding or you just don't like the beeps that turn on or you just want to turn the lights off. Um, and to turn them back on, you basically just hold the steering wheel to the left again, pull it in for a split second, and it'll go, uh, they'll come back on and you'll hear the skill level beeps. Like I said, in between every skill level, the lights will turn off. So if you want to turn the lights off, you need to hold it for a split second. Um, and you'll see the lights go off and then you immediately let go of the trigger. Uh, a few notes, on level skill level two and one, you'll see the speed is limited. So let's go ahead and set it to that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two. Okay, now on skill level two. Skill level two is handy for beginners. It's gonna limit your top speed to half the full speed. So now as I pull it in, we're only going half the full speed. And if you want to go even slower, you put on skill level one. Oh, 
Oops. See, now I'm in inconspicuous mode. I gotta go a little further. Okay, now I'm on skill level one based on the, the one beat we just heard. Now it's only gonna go a third of the full speed. This is handy if you want someone that's brand new on electric skateboard or a kid to try this and you just don't want any risk of them getting hurt. This is the best skill level for them. And again, as I mentioned, if you keep going, it'll flip back over to skill level nine, which is the most powerful. Skill levels three through nine do not limit your top speed. However, they will limit the power to, your motor, to the motor. Uh, nine would give you the most power. Three would be the least power. Um, as I mentioned, levels two and one will actually limit your top speed in addition to limiting the power. Uh, the other setting you might want to consider changing is the braking skill level. So it's the same thing where you hold the steering wheel to the left, but this time you're going to push the trigger out. And there's four braking skill levels. So let's try that. I'm holding the steering wheel to the left, push the trigger out. Okay, it goes a little quickly, but basically what it's doing, it's going from skill level two, three, four, and then it flips back over to level one. So again, um, you have to kind of listen quickly. So you want to let go before it gets to the end of that skill level. So if I want to be like on, let's see where we are right now. So I'm on one, two, three, four, as you heard based on the beeps. And again, it's going to flip back over to level one. So in this case, it actually goes up. So it goes two, three, four, and then flips over to one, and et cetera, and it keeps looping like that. So you let, you let go based on what skill level you would want to be on. Four is the strongest, one is the weakest. You can play around with it to get a sense for what's best for you. Um, and that's basically the basic functionality um, as far as setting the skill levels. Uh, one other feature that's helpful to know is if your battery gauge is doesn't seem to be reporting accurate uh, battery gauge data, what you can do is recalibrate the battery gauge to the default settings. And this is going to depend on which battery you have. Uh, as you know, we have several battery sizes. We have a 10 mile battery, a 15 mile battery, a 20 mile battery, and a 40 mile battery. So what you got to do is you got to check the battery gauge like you normally would, which is holding the steering wheel to the right. And you basically repeat it several times. And at a certain point, you'll hear a special beep happen. So let's try it. Okay, so after three beeps in a row, it made one beep, okay? That means you've calibrated it for uh, the 10 mile battery, okay? And if we keep going, we'll, we'll get to the 15 mile battery, 20, and the 40 miles. So let's keep going. Okay, now it made two downward beeps. So it went doo doo. That basically means you've calibrated to the 15 mile battery. If we keep going, it'll be now the 20 mile battery. Now it made three downward beeps after the normal battery gauge beep. So it went doo doo doo. That means you've calibrated for the 20 mile battery. And the last setting is for the 40 mile battery, which is gonna make four downward beeps. Let's keep going. Okay, that went doo 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 doo. That's four downward beeps. That's for the 40 mile battery. So if you check the battery gauge and it seems like it's off, which sometimes can happen, go ahead and follow that recalibration procedure and it'll make the battery gauge accurate again. Um, just be careful. Sometimes if you check the battery gauge too many times in a row while you're riding, it will accidentally reset it to let's say the 10 mile battery gauge calibration. So just be careful when you're checking while riding. If you do accidentally do three times in a row, just under normal use, you will you may inadvertently reset the braking skill level, I'm sorry, the uh, battery gauge to the 10 mile battery, which may make it inaccurate. So if you've done that, then just go ahead and follow that procedure to set it to the actual battery that you're using. And that's the basic functionality of the MetroBoard Mini RC Remote. We think you'll appreciate how responsive it is, both while accelerating and braking, and also the ability to adjust the features I just explained, and uh, we think you like it. Thanks for listening.